everybody. We have some exciting news. Jim has just purchased a Suffolk Punch Stallion. He is a three-year-old and he's a full brother to Earl. He has been here at an Amish farm in our community and Jim went to see him the other day and really liked him and then he found out he's for sale. And um, he has already been breeding some mares, um, the mares of the owner of this farm. And so he knows that, and the, he bred them last year, they've already had colts. He knows that the stallion is good and he came to see him and we both went to look at him and he's a very nice horse. Seems very quiet and very good. Um, he's, um, Jim led him around and um, he seemed to be very amiable and have a good nature to him. And um, they came to an agreement on the price. And so we are here to load him up and bring him home. Jim's gonna to talk to you more in just a little bit about why he decided to do this and what plans he has for this um, stud. And uh, we will be sharing more with you a little bit later on in the video. Okay, is everybody ready for the new horse? So this <laughs> This is Barney. He's a stud muffin. Come here. Uh, hip, Whoa. Hip. <laughs> hip. Okay, so I have a question for all you guys. What to do when you buy a new horse? So, I'm gonna tell you what I do. So, here we have this new horse. Now, I don't know if you told anybody about earlier when you were at the farm, but this is actually Earl's full brother. Yeah, I did. He's, a th he's three years old. He'll actually, he'll be three years old in two days. He's not quite three years old. So. What I have chosen to do is bring him in here. He can stay in lady style right now because she is outside. <laughs> and just to kind of get the early, an initial, getting used to the bell, the Pertrons. Um, just this snorting back and forth, we'll get them kind of used to each other. And uh, we will continue the process of showing what I do in the process of getting a new horse. As you can see, he got a little bit sweated up from his ride over here, but not too bad. He actually loaded into the trailer really nice, and uh, he is quite a nice looking horse. I'm pretty pleased with him. Um, he has quite a neck to him, as you can see. And he has bred like about, uh, what did Henry say? I think is about five or six, mares that he's bred so far between last year and, and this year already. So I'm not planning on doing a lot of breeding with him, um, but I had showed in an earlier video putting, putting Lady out with the, the colts, and I really didn't think they were maybe, shouldn't have been doing that because of the age, but then when I found out this guy's already bred some colts last year, I realized, well, 
that's the same age as my, my cold star, so um, why not try? But now, since I've purchased him, he will be doing any breeding that might happen with Lady. Um, we'll go watch her close when she comes in heat. We're probably going to try putting her out in the barnyard with the two of them and see what happens. Um, <laughs> tell him about what we did before, because when we left it last time, she, we had just left her out with them. Yes, uh, if you'd watched the last video, or one of the last videos that we had, we'd put Lady out. And no, she was not in heat, so she did not stay in the spots. And we just left her out there for a little while to kind of, so they get used to each other and uh, see what would happen. And then we brought her back in. So why did you decide to get this stallion horse? Well, what drew me to him is the fact he's Earl's brother and he is a year older. So that means I can actually start working this guy earlier. I don't generally work my horses too much until they're four, three and a half, four years old. So he'll be three and a half this winter. And so he'll start doing some work this winter. Some, uh, we'll do some training even this summer with him. He has been driven a few times at the Amish farm that they bought him from. Um, so he does know a little bit. And I was very pleased when I got there earlier at the farm. I, he was outside and I was able to lead him around really well. He minded very good as far as just le leading. And so, um, you know, he's, he's got the initial stuff started. And I think it's been a good start. Um, but my thinking is what I might do, and a lot of things can happen between now and then, but I'm thinking what I might do because I have him now, I might actually castrate the other two this fall after the fly season is gone. Um, I like to castrate them at an even year because a horse tends to grow their hind end first and their front end doesn't catch up until an even year. Um, so that's kind of kind of the old sayings of some of the old um, vets of years ago. And I, I think there's some truth to it. So I like to castrate them on either a two-year-old or a four-year-old. So those colts, if I castrate them this fall, there'll be two, and that would be just perfect. I have no need or desire to have three stallions around this place, that's for sure. Um, but I'm sure he will be a great stallion. And uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. And no, I do not have any plans on getting mares and going into raising horses. But uh, um, I felt that with, with my horses getting older, and Buck especially, uh, to have some replacements come along soon as possible would be really beneficial to me. So this guy here has just got a little rambunctious and, and uh, it's going to take a while for him to get used to things. Now tonight I'll, go, I'll bring the Belgians in so I'll probably take him outside, tie him out there, bring the Belgians in and the Pertrons will go out for the night and he will go into buck style, the furthest style from the two Belgians which will be standing right here to get them hooting and hollowing all night probably but uh, um, over time they'll settle down. What do you think Brenda? Uh, this might be a little bit of a challenge. We'll just have to see what happens. We'll keep you informed. So Abby here just came just to check out my new horse. Right. He's a beauty. Are you going to keep the mane? <laughs> no comment? No comment. Oh, we're beautiful. So uh, have you been working on your house today, Abby? Yes, I have been. Abby's got kind of an exciting project going on. She actually bought a uh, an old house from up uh, from us just up the road, <laughs> and she is going to fix it all up. Or at least that's her plan. That's and I'm going to let Abby tell you about that because she's actually going to start a YouTube channel on her house. Yeah, so it's a major, major fixer upper. So I wanted to start a YouTube channel so that um, people can watch and see the progress if they are so inclined. So if you're interested in watching my YouTube channel, it's called A Drill and a Dream. And um, I will put a card up for it. And uh, the link will be in the description below and a comment below. And um, if you want to look at it, if you are interested in that subject, um, I just put up a video that's the before tour so you can see the whole house tour before I do anything to it and um, then you can check the project progress along the way. So I've just been cleaning up some stuff and I'm getting ready. I'm almost ready to start demolition. So it's 
very exciting. We hope to help each other out quite a bit because um, some of the things that I'm doing, some of the wood that I'm processing in, my, in the woods and in the sawmill will actually be going up there. So we'll be talking about that at different times throughout our videos. And yeah, it's quite a project she's undertaken. Huge project. So be sure to check it out because it is, it's really exciting if you like that kind of thing, which I do. And she's still planning on helping here with this channel and helping all this stuff that we need done because yeah, without sorry. her um, to do all this technical stuff would be a little, little tricky. Maybe this okay. winter when things slow down a bit, you can ride them. Do you think that he's rideable? Oh, sure. All right. Any horse is rideable, right? <laughs> you think he's rideable without dying? A bull. As the saying goes, there ain't a horse that can't be rode. There ain't a cowgirl that can't be thrown. Actually, this is cowboy horse. Anyways, we'll continue on. <laughs> okay, it's short time, and so I had to figure out what to do with the, all the horses. So what I decided to do for now, anyways, is I brought. The new horse and his name is Barney according to the papers brought Barney over here into the pen where I had the heifers this past winter and uh, he seems fairly content here he has water in the tub right here with him and uh, okay and uh, he's starting to settle in fairly well um, he's got hay for the night and this is how he'll spend the night I'm not going to keep him here long term because it's a concrete floor. There's quite a lot of sawdust on the floor, but still I, I don't like a horse to stand on concrete. So this will just be a temporary thing. I actually put him in Earl's stall and I thought it would be way, way too small, but really it's, it, it would have been fine um, to put him in, leave him in the stall. And probably tomorrow and even from here on I probably will do that or do something different than putting him in this pen. Although this pen does work really nice to put an animal, you know, for a situation like this. So, he's an awful friendly horse. He likes, seems to really like people. So, I think he'll fit in just fine here. So, we'll see how he survives the night. Good morning. So, this is the morning after the we got the new horse. And I came out here and this is where I left him last night in this nice pen. And... He is not here. There is a gate over there by that small door that goes out into another pan and then it goes outside. And that was securely tied up and he somehow broke it. <laughs> and he is gone. So let's go see where he is. I actually know where he is because I was out here a few minutes ago, but I decided to come back and grab the camera. You want me to close this? Yeah. Right now. So this is where he was. When I forgot it here earlier, the, the three of them were out eating grass in the in the pasture, seemingly content. And uh, now he's out there and I'm gonna lock him into the barnyard right now so he doesn't cause trouble. You can just video it. I don't want the horses in yet. Okay. You can't come in yet. Hey guy. Oh, isn't he sweet? He's following you. Kenny's being okay. bossy. Let me explain what happened. So, you better jump inside just in case. Yikes! <laughs> so, let me explain what happened. So, he broke through that gate. And Brenda locked the door so I can't get in now. No, uh, here. So he got broke to that gate and then he went out into the, the what we call the cow barnyard. 
and then he, the gate was open there, so he was able to go out into the big field. Well, this is a horse that came from an Amish farm, so he is not familiar with electric fence yet. He was born, and for six months he was in a place where there was electric fence, and uh, he m probably got used to it during those first six months of his life, but never seen like, electric fence since then. And then being a new fence like this, um, he ran right down th there and either broke or jumped over that electric fence to get into the with the Pertrons. Now I'm actually glad this happened because he I don't know how long he's been out but he's starting to get used to things and <laughs> Ken is <laughs> Ken has got his ears laid right back and going right after him but that's good. He's young he can avoid them uh, although I don't like these corners um, but he can avoid them and get used to them. Um, Ken is kind of a, a mean one right now, but he gets sick of the fighting after a while, I'm sure, and he'll get over it. Um, they do have shoes on, it concerns me a little bit, but they're flat shoes on the Pertrons. But uh, he's a young, quick uh, colt, so he can maneuver and get away fast. So anyways, I'm glad actually this happened. So now I can start putting them out with these guys even and get them used to these guys because these are the guys like Ken especially he's probably the one that he'll start working with in the next you know few months so um yeah this is this is going to be interesting and this is very normal uh, for you people that don't have horses or are planning on getting horses when there's always a pecking order when it comes to horses and so when you get a new horse and put in with with your horses that you already have this fighting will always happen especially if there's two a lot of times if there's just one horse out here they will fight a lot lot less and maybe not fight at all but when you put one new horse in with two or more other horses there's always uh, some issues and that's another thing I could do I could just let one of the blacks out with him and I think you'll find that they would fight a lot lot less so anyways I'm going to get some chores done and get them inside and I'll bring Earl yeah I will bring Barney into Earl's stall now we we're thinking about um, changing his name I used to have a Barney horse and so I've had numerous horses of the same names before but I'm thinking the Bar Barney is his official registered name but uh, that doesn't mean I need to call him Barney I'm thinking about thinking of, of another name so even you guys if you've got great names for for this guy uh, let me know in the comments below I, I might choose one of your names if I can't think of anything but I gotta I gotta think of something here in the next few days because I want to start naming him the name that I'm going to use for him. So we'll get them ready to come in and get them in the barn. Okay, they, we got them in all right. Nothing seems any worse for the wear. They, I don't see any marks on, on him as far as being kicked. So he must have avoided all their, all their um, kicking, which is good. Um, so. He fits in the stall perfectly fine. Um, yeah, this is going to be his place to stay for the summer when he when he comes in. Because a lot of times he's going to be outside, hopefully. I'm hoping to put him out eventually with the other two colts. Now, I realize this is one stallion going in with two other stallions. Um, and a lot of people think that's bad. But I really believe that they will get used to each other quite fast. He's bigger than the other two. But the, the other two have two of them to kind of compete against. But I think after a short while, they will get used to each other. I'm not sure exactly how I'll do it, but I'll uh, I'll let you sh I'll show it to you when I do, and so you can see how how they react. But for a little bit, um, we will uh, keep them in here. As a matter of fact, we're gonna be gone this weekend, so it concerns me a little bit because the girls are gonna have to do chores for me, and I gotta figure out what's gonna work best for them and him. Um, in the process of doing chores because I don't feel he's gonna be ready for electric fence yet by that time and uh, uh, Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out though. So Maybe Brenda will even have time to brush him today so she can start getting used to him um, I've got to decide what to do with this hair. It looks like he got clipped here or I don't know what happened um, I don't know but uh, 
we'll have to deal with that, what we want to do. But he's quite a nice horse. We're really happy with him. Um, if you're curious what's going on for the day, I'll just tell you uh, what is going on. I'm planning on going out and, and cutting some more firewood with, with probably the blacks. The, the other two are ready to go to, to work. Um, lady still doesn't have hind shoes on, and I don't want to put the hind shoes on because I'm thinking if she comes into heat, we might try and breed her with, with this guy. And um, so because of that, I can't take her to the woods without hind shoes on. She can do field work, no problem, but with woods work, I don't want to go barefoot. Um, so I'll probably take the blacks into the woods and cut some logs today. Um, I might hitch them up to the mow machine, get the mow machine out, and even maybe road, mow some roadsides and make sure the mow machine's all ready to go for uh, upcoming hitting season. And, 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 Ken, and Bill is doing quite good. Uh, he could do some logging, so I'm not sure I may use him with Bill... I mean, him and Bill and uh, Buck, I might put the two of them together to log some also. And I hope you are liking our new purchase. Um, I sh know I sure am. And so I will keep you informed as to how things go and the progress we do with him in the training process, which will be coming soon. What do you think, boy? You like that grain, huh? Probably never I seen like grain. That. Feel about chi chi cut up. Oh. Yep. Hi step. Hi step. Well, I hope you liked our video today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue watching more of these videos. And I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.